This is a 7 English podcast and you're listening to 5 Frozen Centuries novel. Chapter 101, Don't Speak Anymore. Wei Hua's imposing aura expanded to its limit and contracted in an instant. Then, a crack appeared on the exquisite lock deep in his mind. Although it was only a crack, it was the result of Wei Hua attacking with all his might. The lock was unusual. Without it, Wei Hua would not have been able to accept the system's information and complete the quest. He would not have been able to add Qi Cultivation or God of Thunder to his skill list either, let alone those blueprints. However, this small lock would cause him a lot of trouble. For example, it would force him to accept certain quests and get attacked by animals that went crazy. This small lock could also turn him into an NPC like the ones in the Divine Realm. Maybe he would even be suspended by God. However, he could escape this control as long as he destroyed and blocked the small lock. He could also become a powerful being who had grown into a real imposing presence. However, the lock could not be broken overnight. Besides, it was useful to him. Without the lock, the game system would not be able to locate him. That way, he would not be rewarded. Wei Hua looked at everyone on the ground. They were all trembling, as Wei Hua's imposing aura was too terrifying. The loneliness affected them profoundly and invaded their souls deeply. The most terrifying thing was that the loneliness carried a tinge of cruelty. It was as if Wei Hua could turn into a demon at any moment and slaughter everyone. Wei Hua gradually descended from the sky while the black dragon sprawled on the ground. The five void overlords were trembling and did not dare attack Wei Hua. The head of the Wang family and Wang Yi stared at Wei Hua in disbelief. Their minds were locked in battle with their subconscious. The thinking lock allowed them to fight Wei Hua, but their subconscious kept warning them. Leave. Leave. The so-called gods were humans as well. Perhaps they were humans who had died before the time halt. The game creator had obtained their souls and put mental locks on them to make them NPCs. Wei Hua understood that a 300-year-old baby was actually a 3-year-old human spirit in the divine realm. An 18-year-old young god was actually the spirit of an 18-year-old human. A so-called legendary god was merely a spirit with a golden soul gem. That was why he possessed the power of a legendary ranked genius. However, that power was definitely not comparable to a true legendary ranked genius, just like the epic ranked game provided by the system could not be compared to Wei Hua's epic ranked game. Just as Wei Hua was about to complete the quest by using his imposing aura, a voice appeared in the sky. Cheating survivor, this is a warning. If the cheating method is not turned off within 3 seconds, a level 1 anti-cheating system will be triggered. Wei Hua lifted his head and stared at the sky. His heart was calm. To think that he was given 3 seconds. Wei Hua put the imposing aura in his body and the creatures around him returned to normal. The sounds coming from the sky gradually subsided. The moment Wei Hua retracted his imposing aura, the Void Overlord's fist was about to land on him. However, Wei Hua threw a backhanded punch at it. As the two fists collided, the Void Overlord's fist broke into pieces and eventually disappeared. Wei Hua looked at his own fist. The imposing aura was surrounding it. It seemed like he could concentrate the imposing aura at this level. However, the system did not say that he was cheating this time. That was weird. It was just like the way the system was taking care of him. No, it actually should be taking care of all powerful beings with imposing auras. Wei Hua had guessed a long time ago that God might be a geek who had acquired this system. However, Wei Hua tossed aside that assumption now. God. No, this game creator probably had no choice but to create this game because he was threatened. M. There seemed to be no difference. But after careful thought, that was why the game creator was so biased toward humans and had no choice but to make the game harder for them. Wei Hua suddenly felt his brain spinning faster. Some of his sleeping memories were also triggered, and the thinking lock cracked. His brain potential seemed to have been unlocked as well. Although he did not have a real brain right now, it should be noted that the thinking lock had been unlocked. He wondered if this was the first or second rank. Wei Hua considered one possibility. The real god needed to earn magical stones but did not know how to manufacture games. 
He had thus kidnapped the CEO of Penguin Corporation and gotten him to make a game for him and give him the power to control the Earth. However, the CEO still had a conscience. As he had transformed the Earth into a dangerous place, he had continuously created settings that were beneficial to humans. While thinking about these issues, Wei Hua also fought with the five Void Overlords. His ability to think about such things during a battle with the five Void Overlords meant that Wei Hua's brain had indeed grown. His spirit body had instead become smaller. He used to be three years old, but he now looked like a newborn baby. Surprisingly, his spirit was glowing with golden light. Is this the nascent soul stage? Wei Hua controlled his forced attack armor and destroyed a void overlord before he checked his own condition. Soon, Wei Hua rejected the nascent soul stage idea, as the baby was shrinking while his spiritual power grew. It seemed like he was planning to go back to the beginning. In the beginning, humans had been just tiny eggs. It turned out that when he had first arrived in the divine realm, Wei Hua's malnutrition had been real. However, his age was a lie, as his soul was undergoing the process of focusing his qi and forming the golden core, a fresh egg. He had gone back to his original source and reached the Khanate realm. However, the three soul gems had accelerated the process. Wei Hua destroyed the second void overlord with one punch. In the end, the three void overlords that split up were destroyed by the black dragon's breath. After two void overlords were killed, the scene became much cleaner. The remaining three void overlords were no longer a concern. Upon seeing this, Wang Yi started to panic. The thoughts in his mind flashed like stars in the sky. Suddenly, a card appeared in his hand and he shouted, I will not let you pass. Just as he was about to use the card, Wei Huo appeared in front of him as if he had teleported. He placed his palm on his face and grabbed the card with his other hand. It was an epic ranked card called Black Obsidian Guardian. Equipment, mutually destructive. Wang Yi's head was pressed down, and he could not move at all. However, his mouth was not covered. He said, this is your reel at hashtag at yen, at hashtag yen. Wei Huo pressed his mouth. Stop reciting your lines. Wei Huo moved his right hand forward and a purple soul gem appeared in it. This is a 7 English podcast and you're listening to 5 Frozen Centuries novel. Chapter 102, What Are You Talking About? The soul gem in Wang Yi's body was dug out, and he started to fade away. Wei Huo saw the thinking lock lock a small spirit ball and disappear into the sky. Wang Yi could be considered dead. However, he did not drop anything this time. The remaining three void overlords disappeared without a trace because their owners had died, and so did their cards. However, Wei Hua had already obtained a black obsidian guardian. The card was about to disappear as well, but it was erased by Wei Hua's imposing aura. As a result, the system could not retrieve it. After killing Wang Yi, Wei Hua looked at the head of the Wang family. At that moment, the head of the Wang family roared, ha ha ha. I succeeded. The seal has been lifted. Wei Hua said, that's enough. It's only been seven minutes. Master Wang was speechless. That was the game's nature. It did not matter if one spent one second or seven minutes to kill Wang Yi and trigger the next plotline. As long as one walked into this area, the seal would be removed. Vile creature. The mysterious old man rushed toward the Wang family head. Father, the Wang family can't turn back. Wang Teng lifted his sword and charged toward the Wang family head. Wei Huo was curious to see how they would react if the players did not stir things up. They would certainly not shake hands or praise each other. You acted really well just now. It was very magical. That idiotic player definitely didn't find out. We tricked him. I'll have a bento later. Remember to let me say a few cool lines. Here's the problem. How would you find out if you suspected the NPCs were lying to you while you were playing the game? Wei Hua shook his head and ignored them. Just let them fight. The three of them started fighting like people in wuxia movies. After an exciting battle, each of them was now sweating profusely, but they were not injured. Wei Hua looked at them and shook his head. At that moment, a quest system notification popped up. The finale of the Divine Realm has been triggered. 
Twilight of the Gods has triggered the Divine Realm's ultimate quest, Guardian of the Divine Realm. From now on, the God Slayers will continue to attack the Divine Realm. Players, please help the Gods defend the Divine Realm. The final trial will take place in 300 days, 27 hours, and 50 minutes. If you successfully pass the final trial in the Divine Realm, all the players participating in the defense will be rewarded with a mysterious scroll. You will get 30,000 Divine Stones, and all your skills will be upgraded to level 1. You will be rewarded with points for killing the Divine Beast. The highest ranking player will receive one legendary level skill. Wei Huo was a little surprised. It turned out that there was an ultimate quest. Besides, the reward for first place was really high, and he was the only player there. That meant that the quest was going to fail. This was a large-scale quest that required a large number of players. It was impossible for him to complete it alone. In other words, the Divine Realm could be destroyed. At that moment, the seal was fully opened and the ground started shaking. The mysterious old man shouted, Wei Hua, I'm lending you my power. The spirit energy I accumulated in hundreds of thousands of years will be enough for you to reach the legendary level in a short time. However, its duration is only 10 minutes. You must kill this divine beast within 10 minutes. Otherwise, the divine realm will be in trouble. The mysterious old man turned into a soul ball and entered Wei Hua's body without any intention of talking with him. A moment later, countless system notifications popped up. Your combat skills have been upgraded to level 100. The duration is 10 minutes. After you reach the legendary level, you will automatically obtain the legendary level ability Domain Force. Your attack has increased 100,000 times. Your attack can ignore any defense below the legendary rank. Countless buffs were thrust upon Wei Hua in layers. The buffs made his strength reach a terrifying peak, but Wei Hua did not feel anything special about it. He gradually floated in the sky while golden light was radiating from his body. A domain appeared within a 20 meter radius from him. It seemed like all the atoms in that domain were under Wei Hua's control. A moment later, a blue flame appeared on his left hand. It was a flame produced by a hydrogen explosion. Is this at the legendary level? Unfortunately, it was a legendary ranked item given by the system. It could not last long, but it gave Wei Hua direction. The legendary stage after the epic stage was the process of upgrading the imposing aura to a domain force. However, Wei Hua was curious to know how he could reach the legendary level with the epic-ranked mysterious old man. Rare-ranked creatures were 100 times as strong as normal-ranked ones, while epic-ranked ones were 1000 times as strong as rare-ranked ones. Legendary-ranked creatures should be 10,000 times as strong as epic-ranked ones. Was a combination of two epic-ranked creatures the equivalent of a legendary-ranked creature? Don't tell me this isn't as simple as 1 plus 1. It's already the limit of 1 plus 1. It's impossible for 1 plus 1 to equal 10,000. The mountain collapsed, and the ground cracked open. A huge claw extended from the ground and smashed the temple into pieces. It was a gigantic creature larger than any epic creature. It looked like a huge mountain. Wei Hua stared at the gigantic creature in the air coldly. In his opinion, only the giant monster in Ultraman could be compared to the God Destroyer. Soon, Wei Hu received a message from the God Destroyer. God Destroyer, Gender, Female, Level, Legendary, Lifespan, Infinite, Age, 350000 plus. Wei Hu frowned. Is this a legendary creature? Fortunately, this legendary beast was not healthy. First of all, she suffered from malnutrition, claustrophobia, depression, schizophrenia, and insomnia. Secondly, her various abilities were subhealthy, and her ability to move was weak. It seemed like he had caused tremendous damage to her legs when he had sealed her. Apart from these parameters, there was also another factor. The sealed female god destroyer could summon her partner from afar. He had to kill this divine beast as soon as possible. The female's death would anger her partner and summon an army of divine beasts early. The god destroyer kept yelling and destroying everything she saw. The space in the forbidden ground began to fluctuate, as if it was about to shatter. 
Wei Sha, the Black Dragon, Wang Yi, and the others were trembling. They dared not move forward. Wei Hu decided not to wait any longer. He made his move. Ripples appeared in the air as he threw a punch. Not only did the punch carry the newly acquired domain force, but it also carried Wei Hu's newly acquired field force. The two forces intertwined and smashed into the back of the God Destroyer. In the eyes of Wei Sha and the others, it was as if a small stone had landed on a huge mountain. However, the rapid speed of the stone created a huge hole in the mountain. Wei Hua threw another punch and another huge hole appeared on the back of the Divine Beast. Blood splattered everywhere, and its spine could be seen clearly. The God Slayer roared. It spread its domain and enveloped Wei Hua. However, it was no use, as Wei Hua had his own domain around him as well. The two domains cancelled each other out, and the only thing left to do was have a physical battle. No. It was one-sided compression. Wei Hua's imposing aura was too terrifying. It was something that had not been set up by the system. It was like a cheat that could control all living creatures. After all, I have the imposing aura. If you do not, how could you defeat me? If this was a real game, this would be a cheat. After all, it was something that went beyond the system. Thanks to his domain force, which neutralized the situation, Wei Hua's strength did not get weaker. The divine beast was no match for him. At that moment, Wang Yi shouted, Hold on, I've already spoken to the legendary heavenly fire goddess. She'll appear in nine minutes. A moment later, Wei Hua's punch broke the divine beast's spine. However, the mysterious old man's voice suddenly came from Wei Hua's body before he died. This divine beast is too powerful. Use your domain force to buy time. In an instant, Wei Hua smashed the head of the divine beast. However, the legendary beast was not dead yet. Hence, the head of the Wang family laughed out loud. You guys are too naive. This is a legendary beast. She could kill all of you easily. You are all doomed. A moment later, half of the divine beast's body disappeared. Wei Hua was holding onto a golden soul gem. At that moment, Wei Hua turned around. What are you talking about? This is a 7 English podcast and you're listening to 5 Frozen Centuries novel. Chapter 103, Mytone and Splite. The God Destroyer was dead. At that moment, another quest notification popped up. The female, divine beast has been killed, so the final trial will take place 100 days earlier. Wei Hua weighed the golden gem in his hand and compared it to the item mall. He realized that such a gem could be exchanged for 1 million magical stones. The rare rank was 100 times the normal rank and could be exchanged for one magical stone. The epic rank was 1000 times the rare rank and could be exchanged for 1000 magical stones. The legendary rank was 10,000 times the epic rank and could be exchanged for 10 million magical stones. What could 10 million magical stones do? The world shining medicine could cure diseases and was worth 1.5 million magical stones. Azure dragon powered armor was worth 300 million magical stones. The blueprint of the super lightspeed engine cost 3 billion magical stones. A neutron battle star cost 300 billion magical stones. A black hole crafter cost 7 trillion magical stones. 1 million magical stones could be used to buy blueprints of human technology. For example, nuclear submarines and aircraft carriers could also be used in exchange for mini bombs. 1 million magical stones could be used to get a level 1 artificial being that only knew one of the 10 basic skills. He could choose to upgrade its skills to level 5. He could also improve its skills through training but its lifespan would be very short. It could live for 35 years. A level, 10 artificial being had 10 basic skills. It only needed 10 million magical stones, which was similar to Lu Chichi's model. However, if he spent magical stones on it, he could refine its appearance, gender, skin color, and character. It took him one minute to kill the divine beast, but he needed nine minutes to browse through the market. Wei Hua could not understand how time had passed. However, he only realized that 10 minutes had passed when his domain disappeared. The 10 minutes were finally over. 
The mysterious old man's soul ball flew out. Wei Hua had already killed the divine beast. Not only did Wei Hua take away the legendary creature's soul gem, but its corpse was also put in an incubation panel. At that moment, the heavenly fire goddess finally arrived. Unlike the heavenly wood god, the heavenly fire goddess was a cold beauty. When she arrived, she only shot Wei Hua a cold glance and said, the quest to kill a divine beast has been completed. I'll reward you with a legendary level card. Take it. Then, she threw a card over. Wei Hua took it and saw that it was a legendary level god destroyer. God destroyer, effects, invisibility, possession, god devouring skill. Invisibility, a divine beast is a spiritual being. It can thus take any form. Possession, a divine beast can possess the body of any sentient being. God devouring skill, it can directly harm the souls of creatures. On the front side of the card, the god destroyer's form kept changing. At times, it became a 100 meter tall beast, a tiny ant, a flame, and a drop of water. Given Wei Hua's consciousness, it could even assume Wei Hua's appearance. The card was very powerful. Generally speaking, a creature's strength should be 50% lower after it was turned into a card. However, once the creature summoned was killed, it would be turned back into a card and go through cooldown. As long as it was not killed, it could exist forever. The legendary level card was awesome, as it gave Wei Hua a legendary level avatar. After all, legendary level cards had their own domain. Wei Hua suddenly felt that the cold heavenly fire goddess was much more pleasing to the eye. He had clearly failed his quest, yet she had still rewarded him. At that moment, raging flames appeared around the heavenly fire goddess again. She told the Wang family head coldly, you attempted to use the god destroyer's divine realm. You committed a heinous crime. That is unforgivable. I will personally kill you, you scum. At that moment, the Divine Realm's general suddenly appeared. The general's appearance had changed due to the arrows, and he now looked charred. He was wearing a purple gold battle robe, and his red cloak fluttered in the wind. He was holding a long spear in his hand and riding a divine steed. He rushed to the scene and roared, Heavenly Fire Goddess, the legendary beast armies are attacking. They have already broken through the first line of defense. The heavenly beast god is asking you to go and reinforce them. There are three legendary level beasts there. The heavenly fire goddess let out a cold snort. Throw the head of the Wang family into jail and confiscate all the Wang family's assets. In addition, all the adult gods of the Wang family have to come to the battlefield within 10 days to redeem themselves. As the heavenly fire goddess flew away, more than 10 soldiers immediately took control of the Wang family head. The Wang family head laughed self-mockingly. The winner takes the throne, but the loser takes it all. It has always been like this since ancient times. Tang, come here. I have something to tell you. Wang Teng moved closer. At that moment, the mysterious old man floated in front of Wei Hua. Wei Hua, if you were not in my divine realm, things would have been tough. I don't have any treasures, so I'll give you this ring. Wei Hua was shocked. Your grandpa's ring? Wei Hua took the ring. It was a normal ring. Based on the material, it had to be coated in gold. It was really worn out, but there was no rust. The mysterious old man said, this is the key to the door to our family's restricted warehouse. Other people might not know that this warehouse is in the forbidden ground, but once the seal is removed, the location of the warehouse will probably be exposed. Rather than doing that, why don't you use it as a favor? You can take the key to the warehouse and get some items as compensation. However, beware. Don't take too much. Wei Hua looked at the old man and realized that his line of thought had not wavered. Wei Hua was shocked. Could this be? Wei Hua got moving and rushed toward the warehouse mentioned by the mysterious old man. The warehouse was hidden in the belly of the mountain where the divine beasts were sealed. Wei Hua saw a bronze gate as he flew in. The ring on his finger lit up. Soon, the door opened. The gate was empty, but there were three things floating in the air. A scroll, a bronze bell, and a palm-sized jade plate. Wei Hua was a little surprised. 
Could these three things be legendary? Wei Hua grabbed the scroll and read it. The river painting is a rare item. Wei Hua grabbed the bell. The east yellow bell is a rare item. Wei Hua grabbed the jade plate. The creation jade plate is a rare item. Wei Hua was speechless. The creator of this game was definitely from China. After all, Wei Hua used to be a person who accidentally bought Mytone 1 and Splite 2. He knew what was happening the moment he saw such pirated names. Wei Hua did not take a closer look at the effects of the three pieces of equipment. Instead, he quickly put them away. He could vaguely see a trap. It was gradually presented, but it required more people to guide one and set it up. Wei Hua flew out of the mountain but did not see the mysterious old man. At that moment, Wang Ting's temperament suddenly changed. He killed his father with one sword move and roared, the main culprit is the Wang family head. Adult gods of the Wang family, listen to my orders. Take your weapons and follow me to the battlefield. The Wang family's dignity will be reclaimed by the Wang family. However, this was the Wang family's forbidden ground. In theory, there were no Wang family members nearby. A tear dropped from the corner of Wang Teng's eyes after he finished shouting. He looked ahead and out of the forbidden ground. He seemed to have made up his mind and he eventually left the forbidden ground with the general. Wei Hua frowned slightly. What happened while I was away? Soon, Wei Hua received the first notification. The first wave of divine beasts will attack the divine realm in 35 days. This is a 7 English podcast and you're listening to 5 Frozen Centuries Novel. Chapter 104, Awakened Wei Hua's mentality underwent a huge change. He felt that the three pirated items he had obtained in the Wang family's instance dungeon were a hint to an imposing figure. Wei Hua could even imagine that after countless years, an imposing aura level expert would be born among humans. He would successfully crack the thinking lock and find the game creator. He would plan to take revenge. At that moment, the game creator would shout at the top of his lungs, although I betrayed mankind temporarily, I had no choice. I was threatened. Look, I left so many backdoors for humans just so that they could rise one day. Please, don't kill me, okay? His desire to survive would be strong. This was obvious based on the fact that someone in an imposing aura could cheat for three seconds. Wei Hua left the Wang family's dungeon. He planned to go to school first. He felt that the divine realm might be destroyed soon. He wanted to gain more advanced knowledge and learn about advanced technology before that happened. As soon as he arrived at the school gate, Wei Hua received a notification. Pay 1000 divine stones. Players will automatically study for a week. Players who study for the first time will receive the learning skill. Meanwhile, a parent brought a student to class. They walked in without paying any divine stones. Was the game only targeting players? Also, what does studying automatically for a week mean? Wei Hua decided to give it a try. He paid 1000 divine stones and a notification popped up. You've been learning for a week and have acquired the learning skill. Wei Hua could not believe it. A week had passed. He checked the time but it did not seem like it was there. Was this why people said money was time? Wei Hua wanted to break in but could not. A barrier blocked his way. He checked the learning skill he had just obtained. Learning, level 0. Note, the higher one's learning level is, the more they will understand blueprints. At the same time, this skill will increase the efficiency of other skill upgrades. When Wei Hua arrived at the gate of the high school, a notification popped up. The player's learning level is below level 5. They can't study in high school. At that moment, a teacher's lecture was heard from the school. Wei Hua straightened up his ears to listen attentively. Are the teachers in this school serious? The teacher said, take note of the term Li Shirzhen. It's not an adjective, but it can be used as an adjective. Sometimes it can be used as Li Shirzhen's skin or Li Shirzhen's show or Li Shirzhen's sliding. At the same time, you can also say Li Shirzhen's grass and Li Shirzhen's hair. Now, please use the term Li Shirzhen and take note of my requests. The term will be translated as a moving term. 
Wei Huo was confused. Is this what teachers teach in class? At that moment, the teacher mentioned a name. Little Ming, get up and form a sentence. Little Ming stood up and said in embarrassment, Teacher, you're really pretty. The teacher smiled in embarrassment. Little Ming, although you're telling the truth, you used the wrong method. Your really and Li Shirzhen are redundant. You have to take note during the exam. Although we don't use it often in our lives, this is important knowledge. After a few hundred years, did this popular online term get out of hand? The divine realm was filled with traditional culture in China. To be more specific, it seemed like the game creator wanted to express something and awaken some people. Yes, Wei Hua could use the word awaken to reach the imposing aura level. He could sense the presence of the thinking lock and even escape its control. That could be explained by the word awaken. Wei Hua continued scrolling through the skill while he was deep in thought. It was not until he used up all his divine stones to hunt epic ranked creatures that he recalled that he had yet to complete a quest. Wei Huo went to the magical beast space and spent some time squatting down to catch a void overlord. He then went to the card market to look for the blind master. It was raining cats and dogs in the divine realm. There was no one at the market except for the master. He stood quietly on the street, waiting for Wei Hua to return. However, Wei Hua had forgotten. It seemed like the master wanted to take on Wei Hua as his disciple. He had waited for many days and had refused to leave even when it rained. Wei Hua obtained a skill book after completing his quest. Upon studying it, he obtained the manufacturing skill of normal ranked cards. The upper limit of this skill was level 20, and the skill introduction was very clear. After reaching level 20, the skill would automatically be upgraded to the rare rank. That would probably reach level 20 as well. After reaching level 20, the skill would be upgraded to the epic rank. Upon obtaining the skill, Wei Hua spent his time in the magical beast space. He hunted normal ranked magical beasts every day, created cards, and sold them for money before finally practicing his learning skill. This kind of life was very interesting to him. He kept repeating the same thing and keeping himself busy without having any weird thoughts. There were still many normal ranked magical beasts in the magical beast space. After all, epic ranked beasts needed to hunt rare ranked ones, and rare ranked ones needed to hunt normal ranked ones. How could there not be so many normal ranked creatures at the bottom of the pyramid? The card creation skill was upgraded very quickly. In just 30 days, it was upgraded to level 14. On the 35th day, the first wave of divine beasts appeared. However, Wei Hua did not receive any notifications. The main reason he knew about it was because of the notification he had received 35 days ago. The gods on the streets were also talking about it. The divine realm, which had been peaceful for countless years, seemed about to welcome another war. All the gods were talking about it, and their minds were locked. They seemed to be really worried about this incident. Is the divine realm really going to be destroyed? Can the three heavenly gods defeat the divine beast armies? Can we survive? The divine realm was filled with sorrow and despair. At that moment, some gods came back from the human world. They were gods who had undergone micro-modifications in the human world. According to the time ratio of 100 days in the divine realm, these gods should have been working in the human world for 45 years. On their way back, the gods started complaining. I'm so tired. I have to adjust to so many places. Another god said, we don't have much time left. We have a total of 200 years. We have to end this slight adjustment. It seems like adventurers will arrive then. Wei Huo was shocked. This was the first time he heard the word adventurer. Did the term adventurers refer to humans? Or were they real players? Wei Huo returned to the magical beast space and continued killing normal ranked magical beasts, creating cards, and practicing his learning skill. At the same time, his soul continued shrinking and condensing. This is a 7 English podcast and you're listening to 5 Frozen Centuries novel. Chapter 105, No One Scores. Soon enough, the time for the card competition was up. Wei Hua had to participate in the competition. 
His card creation skill had broken through to level 20 and reached the level 3 rare rank. At this stage, upgrading his skill level was going to be tough. However, Wei Hua considered the term adventurer. One day in the sky, 100 days on the ground, and 200 years of micro-adjustment would pass soon. Then, the adventurers would descend. This was a strange concern. Wei Hua was still feeling a little worried. Why do they use the word descend? Wei Hua mumbled to himself. The convention began and the audience seats were filled. The host said loudly to boost the atmosphere, this once-in-a-century card competition has finally begun. The total number of players participating in this competition is one. We will use a cruel elimination system. Only the strongest player will defeat a strong enemy and reach the top. The crowd started cheering. The host added, this is going to be an exciting competition. One player will have an intense card battle during this competition. The loser will be eliminated in each round until the champion is decided. Wei Hua could not help but ask, what's going on? His worry was washed away by the humorous host. How intense could a one-player competition be? Besides, there were many spectators. Many audience members said, I'm really looking forward to it. I heard that this will be the most exciting match ever. Yes. I'm ready to stay up late to watch it. You guys have no idea how much effort I made to get this ticket. Wei Huo was confused. However, there was only one player in this game. Wei Huo felt out of place. He had the feeling that since everyone was either a god or a human, and both kinds were NPCs or players, he should not care. However, he felt uncomfortable knowing that they were all humans who were connected to each other in a lot of ways. Wei Hua thought of a movie called, The Matrix. Everything the world saw in that movie was fake. Only the protagonists knew the truth and saved everyone. However, the host was quite humorous, and so was the audience. The host picked up the microphone and said, I hereby announce, the beginning of the competition. The crowd went wild as it cheered. However, the host did not continue. He stood there for three seconds. After the audience's voices subsided, he picked up the microphone again and said, I hereby announce, the end of the competition. The champion is Wei Hua. The crowd burst into thunderous applause. Everyone started shouting, Wei Hua. Wei Hua. Some audience members said, this ticket was really worth it. Exciting competitions like this are rare. That's right. That's right. Did you guys watch the competition just now? It was really exciting. It was probably the most exciting competition in history, right? Stop talking. From now on, Wei Hua will be my fan. No, I was wrong. My fan will be Wei Hua. That doesn't seem right either. Wei Hua was speechless. The actors were so funny that they wanted to make fun of the players. However, Wei Hua did not laugh. Quest complete. You have received 30 Divine Realm reputation points, 3 random epic ranked cards, and 1 slot to enter the Divine Ruins. The host bowed before everyone. Thank you for your support. Thank you for this exciting competition. Wei Hua blurted out, did no one complain about the 3 second match? No. At that thought, Wei Hua's imposing aura suddenly spread out uncontrollably. Everyone who was shrouded by it felt a suffocating pressure and deep loneliness within their hearts. The system immediately sent a notification. It has been detected that the player has turned on a cheat. This is a warning, if the cheat is not turned off within 3 seconds, a level 1 anti-cheating processing system will be triggered. The imposing aura was over 170 meters tall by now, so it was twice as large as before. Wei Hua's aura grew stronger on the surface, but Wei Hua himself was confused. Why did it become stronger when I did not do anything? Am I the kind of cultivator who can gain strength through enlightenment? Or perhaps, the more loneliness one endures, the stronger one becomes? Wei Hua put away the imposing aura. However, not everyone in the audience was back to normal. Some people were clapping, while others were cheering. Meanwhile, some people looked confused. They mumbled to themselves, I'm not feeling well. 
I think I better go back early. Wei Huo was confused by their behavior. At the same time, he speculated that it was possible for anyone to awaken their powers. However, did someone need to help them a little? A system notification popped up. Will you be entering the divine ruins? Wei Hua thought about it and eventually chose, yes. The divine realm seemed like it wanted Wei Hua to know what it wanted to say and what it wanted to express. The time halt was about to be over. The future of mankind was in the hands of a few people, and he was one of them. A moment later, a white light descended and Wei Hua was teleported into a new space. As soon as he entered this place, Wei Hua activated the imposing aura. He was worried that countless monsters would attack him once he entered the divine ruins. However, to his surprise, no monsters attacked him after he entered the divine ruins. There was only white space around him. There was nothing else. Everything was white. Could the divine ruins still be under construction? Wei Hua's imposing aura expanded indefinitely. It had been more than three seconds, but the cheat detection system had not been activated and the anti-exile system had not appeared. There was nothing. It seemed as if he had come to a world outside the game and ran outside the map. The divine ruins had yet to be built. There was not even a gate. God probably had not expected someone to come to the ruins at this moment. Here was the question, since there was nothing, not even a portal, how could Wei Hu go back? Wei Hua put his armor in his inventory. A fist-sized baby appeared in the air. Wei Hua's spiritual body was still shrinking, but his spiritual energy did not change. It made his spiritual body more solid. Without the game system's interference, Wei Hua's imposing aura radiated wantonly. The space was empty all around him. Nothing existed. Never mind the NPCs. Even the game itself had disappeared. There was no time or space, and everything was white. There was no need to think, no need to do anything. He just continued sleeping forever. Just as Wei Hua was about to enter a lost state, something from afar barged into his imposing aura. It seemed as if ripples were created in this quiet sea of consciousness, and thoughts were born. A moment later, the imposing aura shrank. The creature that had accidentally entered Wei Hua's imposing aura was immediately enveloped by it. The imposing aura was like a spider web that had grabbed its prey. What was more impressive than the spider web was that the imposing aura also took the initiative to catch the prey in front of Wei Hua. This was a young divine beast that could not move against Wei Hua's imposing aura. Wei Hua was confused. Where was this place? Why was there a divine beast there? Soon, Wei Hua saw a large group of god destroyers heading in one direction. The one leading them was a legendary level god destroyer. Wei Hua suddenly knew where he was. Void realm, periphery of the divine realm. He flew in the direction the legendary beasts were heading toward. Before long, Wei Hua saw a gigantic, wide platform built with unknown materials. The platform floated in the void realm, and the other end continued extending into the interior of a huge golden barrier. The divine beast's target was this barrier. They attacked the barrier crazily while countless divine warriors rushed out of the barrier and fought against the divine beasts. However, Wei Hua's appearance changed everything. His imposing aura engulfed the platform in an instant. In the void realm, Wei Hua felt that his imposing aura did not seem to have any limitations that could extend indefinitely. Against his imposing aura, all the creatures below the legendary rank, including god destroyers and divine soldiers, were trembling. Their willpower was influenced by Wei Hua's boundless loneliness. What is this? I've never encountered such a situation in years of battles. Is that a divine beast destroying technique? Wei Hua was a little surprised. He realized that the thinking locks in the soldiers' minds seemed to have lost their effect. It seemed like everyone had regained their freedom in the outside world. This is a 7 English podcast and you're listening to 5 Frozen Centuries novel. Chapter 106, The Divine Realm is About to Fall. The only legendary level god destroyer noticed Wei Hua and rushed toward him. It seemed like it wanted to bite Wei Hua to death. At that moment, two heavenly gods appeared. It was the heavenly wood god and the heavenly fire goddess. 
The two gods attacked together, and two different domains instantly shrouded the legendary divine beast. A moment later, a golden flame was thrown by the heavenly fire goddess. The moment the golden flame came into contact with the divine beast, it ignited the soul flame from an extremely long distance away. The soul flame used spirit energy as a fuel. It did not emit any heat during the burning process, but it could burn any soul. The legendary beast started struggling, and its body began to change. The beast, which was a few hundred meters tall, suddenly grew to 500 to 600 meters tall. It seemed like it wanted to continue growing, but a heavenly beast god suddenly descended from the sky and swallowed it with one bite. Weihua had never seen the heavenly beast god before, but based on its name, it seemed like the heavenly beast god was either a giant beast or a god who was good at controlling beasts. However, Weihua now understood that the heavenly beast god was actually a heavenly giant beast. The heavenly beast god disappeared in the air again as if it had never appeared. However, the gods were all sweating in fear. Is this imposing aura yours, Weihua? Did you advance to the epic stage? That's not right. You don't have a soul gem. The heavenly wood god frowned. Weihua, how did you get here? The portal should be closed. Weihua slowly put away his imposing aura. He stared curiously at the heavenly wood god and the other gods. The locks in their minds had not flickered ever since they had arrived at the void realm. On the surface, they should not be controlled by the system anymore. However, he still thought they were gods under the influence of their memories. Fortunately, they seemed to remember Weihua. Weihua replied, I'm Weihua. I entered the divine ruins, but for some reason, I came here. The divine ruins? The heavenly wood god was shocked. The divine ruins are in the void realm? Weihua asked, have you never been to the divine ruins? The heavenly wood god shook his head. I was only able to enter the top three at the coming of age competition. However, strangely enough, I never thought of taking part in this competition. I don't know why. However, legendary level heavenly gods shouldn't be competing with newborn gods. Weihua looked at the 1,800-year-old and 2,000-year-old soldiers. What about you guys? Didn't you participate in the competition? The soldiers were stunned. They only replied after seeing the heavenly wood god nod. We don't know. We wanted to go there initially, but we always encountered all sorts of obstacles, such as divine beast attacks. A 1,800-year-old primal young god said, that's right. I wanted to participate this time, but who knew that the divine beasts would invade? I gave up the chance to participate as a result. Wei Hua understood everything. The thinking lock had influenced them so that they could not participate in the player's card competition. Wei Hua. The heavenly wood god's eyes focused on him. Did you discover something? Wei Hua did not know if he should tell him. After all, anyone who knew too much, died. He asked, where's Yi Yunxiao? The heavenly wood god was stunned. He found Wei Hua's tone a little weird. After all, there were not many gods who would dare to speak to him in such a tone. However, he had a mild temper. Besides, the strength displayed by Wei Hua was too powerful. That peculiar field could actually affect his emotions. It was terrifying. The heavenly wood god said, Yi Yunxiao. He accompanied me to search for the god annihilating staff. After we found it, we decided to return. However, on the way back, Yi Yunxiao went crazy. He insisted that our world was fake and refused to return to the divine realm no matter what. He's only a rare ranked man. There's only one way out of the void battle shuttle. I was in a hurry to return to the divine realm, so I decided to knock him out first. However, he jumped off the void battle shuttle and fell into the vortex. I don't know if he's still alive. Wei Hua thought about it after listening to the heavenly wood god's description. Was Yi Yunxiao awakened too? It seemed like someone had helped Yi Yunxiao. Besides Yi Yunxiao, they had also helped the owner of the notebook. Something seemed to be slowly taking place. The heavenly wood god asked, Wei Hua, what do you know? The heavenly wood god had detected that something was amiss but had no idea what was going on. 
However, at that moment, a continent appeared away from the Void Realm. It was a continent that was floating in the Void Realm. The continent was radiating with a golden radiance. A gigantic beast's shadow suddenly appeared in the sky above the continent. It was as big as the continent. Wei Hua narrowed his eyes at the gigantic creature and told the heavenly wood god, if I tell you the truth, I don't think you will be able to return alive. You can't talk to anyone about this. You have to figure it out yourself. As soon as Wei Hua finished his words, a special wave spread out. The platform built at the edge of the divine realm crumbled instantly, and countless divine soldiers floated up and away from the collapsing platform. They could no longer control their bodies. It turned out that the gods could move about freely only if the platform existed. It's the power of the laws. It's a mythical creature. The heavenly wood god roared. All gods will return to the divine realm immediately. However, that would not do. The platform had been destroyed, and none of the gods could move freely. They could only watch helplessly as the divine beasts that could move freely in the void realm charged toward them. Wei Hua's imposing aura swept through the air. At the same time, he roared, let your minds go. A lonely feeling crept into their hearts, causing their hearts to ache uncontrollably. At the same time, Wei Hua had already used his imposing aura to fly toward the edge of the divine realm with over 100 gods around him. He could only save this many of them. Besides, Wei Hua wanted to use this opportunity to do something. Let your minds go. Don't resist. Wei Hua stressed again. He focused on the fact that he had saved over 100 gods. The 100 odd gods were resisting their lonely emotions, but these emotions were too terrifying. Their bodies were all in pain for some reason. It was not physical pain but mental pain. This was too painful. It was even more terrifying than physical pain. They wanted to hurt themselves and let the physical pain drown their souls, but, they did not have bodies. However, under the circumstances, the thinking locks in their minds cracked slightly. I can only do this much. Wei Hua understood one thing after learning that Yi Yun Shao had escaped from the thinking lock with his own strength while jumping off the void battle shuttle. It was possible for humans to escape from the thinking lock. Even if the whole world was turned into NPCs, perhaps one or two people would wake up and escape. Wei Hua rushed into the Divine Realm's barrier with 100 gods. A moment later, a notification popped up on the quest system. You failed to guard the Divine Realm. Divine Realm 1 is about to be destroyed. Destruction countdown, 3 days, 12 hours, 57 minutes. This is a 7 English podcast and you're listening to 5 Frozen Centuries novel. Chapter 107, A New Supplement The Divine Realm was about to be destroyed. That was the first message Wei Hu received when he returned to the Divine Realm. Then, he heard the voice of the game creator. Human time is about to recover. New feature added, Hell. Humans and pets will head to Hell after they die, with the exception of soul dissipation. New feature added. Players can pass Hell's test and be revived after dying. The difficulty of consecutive death tests will increase. If the player fails the test, their character will be deleted permanently. New location added. Wildlife will avoid the safe area when it's not triggering incidents. New legendary quest characters added. Randomly select 5 legendary characters, put them in legendary mode, and assign them the quest to resurrect mankind. New mode added, hero mode. Random selection of hero mode by everyone. New feature added, races luck. Races luck will be triggered if a race's population decreases too quickly. Effect, unknown. New relationship network menu added. New update, technological tree. New update, space pirates. New update, space nomads. New update, zerg. The creator of the game, who had been silent for countless years, forked out all these updates in one go. All the illogical parts of the game were improved, and a lot of new content was added. At the same time, the conditions for mankind's survival were guaranteed. However, death was inevitable. Fortunately, the appearance of hell gave the dead a second life. Wasn't hell a place like heaven? 
On top of that, he thought of the Yellow Springs path the moment he heard the word, Hell. If he entered it, he would probably be washed clean of his memories before coming out. Wei Hua put away the imposing aura after returning to the Divine Realm. The 100-odd gods that he had saved immediately regained their mobility upon returning to the Divine Realm. At the same time, the thinking lock deep in their minds lit up. The Heavenly Fire Goddess and the Heavenly Beast God have both died in battle. The Heavenly Wood God ordered last all the adult gods to bring their weapons and equipment with them to resist the invasion of foreign enemies. All underage gods will follow the leader's orders and leave the Divine Realm immediately. They had not seen what had happened between the Heavenly Fire Goddess and the Heavenly Beast God, nor had they heard any new orders of his. However, their minds were locked. It seemed as if they had obtained the ability to predict the future and scattered in all directions to notify the Divine Realm's residents. The imposing aura shrank, and Wei Hua's soul condensed again. It turned completely into a golden pearl. The scariest thing was that the pearl was still shrinking. At that moment, Wei Hua thought, what are the criteria for judging a person? Do they look like a human? Do they have the same soul as a human? Fortunately, Wei Hua could still put on his armor. Although the armor was bulky, it was at least humanoid. Wei Hua landed in the first city of the Divine Realm. The city's name was Greenwood. Ever since the news that the legendary Heavenly Fire Goddess and the legendary Divine Beast had died in battle had arrived, the atmosphere in the Divine Realm had become a little weird. Gods could not keep their spirits up. Adult gods began to prepare their weapons, while underage gods packed their belongings and prepared to escape from the Divine Realm. Wei Hua arrived at Yi Yunxiao's residence. He was there to collect the books. He felt that he might be able to find some clues in them. Wei Hua stopped in front of Yi Yunxiao's residence. His home was as simple and plain as ever. When he opened the door, he only saw a bed, a closet, and a table. However, there was a black helmet on the table. There was no system notification about the helmet. Generally, everything in the game would prompt a system notification. For example, the bed's notification would say, normal clean single bed, quality, normal. There were quite a lot of messages, but there was no information on the helmet. Wei Hua was suspicious. He picked up the helmet and examined it closely. His soul was now a golden pearl about the size of a glass ball. However, as he entered the epic stage, he had the god view, the third person view, and various other perspectives. That was why he could observe the helmet from all directions. Unfortunately, Wei Hua did not discover anything. Everything changed when his golden soul pearl left his armor and entered the helmet. The thinking lock in his mind had lost its function. He could even use the imposing aura without any restraints. The anti-exile system could not detect him, as the location, information, and feedback of the thinking lock were all blocked by the pitch black helmet. Wei Hua was shocked. Was this made by Yi Yunxiao? Wei Hua immediately flipped through all the notebooks in the closet. Although he'd said he wanted to read them, he actually used the imposing aura to scan them. After scanning them, he found everything in a notebook. In the end, Wei Hua obtained two extremely important pieces of information. One, the owner of the notebook might be dead. Two, the helmet was a product of Yi Yunxiao's long experimentation after reading the notebook. In other words, the way to manufacture the helmet was hidden in these notes. Wei Hua put away his helmet and notebook. The helmet was not ordinary. Even the scanner could not detect anything, which meant that the helmet belonged to a third-party software just like Wei was imposing aura. In other words, it was a cheat. However, this thing would give humanity hope for a comeback. Yi Yunxiao, I will remember you. Humans will remember you. Wei Hua began sorting out Yi Yunxiao's belongings. There were not many belongings to pack. Only ordinary clothes and bedding were worth any money, and so were the slingshots and stones. Wei Hua kept them as mementos. After packing up, Wei Hua walked out of his residence and looked back for the last time. It would not be long before this tiny house disappeared, right? Wei Hua met Little Fatty when he returned. Little Fatty still looked terrified but was unwilling to concede defeat. 
He was carrying a huge backpack and had a lot of things in his hands. His parents were already on the front line and had left him alone to pack his belongings and leave the divine realm by himself. Wei Hua looked at him. Are you done packing? Have you brought everything you need? He was only a child about three or four years old. In his eyes, Wei Hua saw fear, confusion, and determination. That was the nature of human perseverance. Little Fatty wanted to retort. So what if you're at the epic stage? Can you do whatever you want at the epic stage? However, in the end, Little Fatty only replied with one word. Yes. He was speechless. The divine realm was about to be destroyed, and all the gods were running for their lives. What did past grudges even mean? Wei Hua patted his shoulder. Go. Little Fatty nodded. After taking a few steps, he turned around and said, you have to catch up as well. Wei Hua smiled. He thought about it and shoved a few rare ranked cards that he had created in Little Fatty's hands. Your destination should be the human realm. Keep these cards to protect yourself. You won't be able to exchange them for epic ranked ones. Little Fatty tried his best to decline. My brother taught me not to take other people's things for no reason. However, his strength was not as great as Wei Hua's. In the end, Little Fatty took out a small statue. I stole this from kindergarten. I'll trade it with you. Wei Hua smiled. He took the crude-looking statue and said goodbye to Little Fatty. I will definitely become an epic-ranked beast and take revenge on you. Before leaving, Little Fatty spoke harshly. Not long after Little Fatty left, tearing sounds came from the sky of the Divine Realm. This is a 7 English podcast and you're listening to 5 Frozen Centuries Novel. Chapter 108, Never Coming Back The moment all things were destroyed, the Divine Realm finally welcomed its destruction. The sky was dyed red as countless divine soldiers descended from the sky. A gigantic creature tore open the sky and revealed its gigantic head. It slowly extended its head into the divine realm and opened its bloody mouth. A moment later, terrifying flames of death descended from the sky. The heavenly wood god, who was the only legendary level god left in the divine realm, lifted his divine sword. His robe was dyed red with blood, and one of his arms had long disappeared. He shouted, the gods will never retreat. Countless adult gods charged toward the giant beast with weapons in their hands. However, the terrifying giant beast extended its claws and turned countless gods into minced meat. This was the mythological stage. Its gigantic body could be compared to a continent. The powerful gods were just food hanging from its mouth. Its coarse skin and thick flesh made legendary level beings feel helpless. The kindergarten teacher hurriedly boarded the spacecraft with a group of divine children. Just as they were about to leave, three legendary beasts descended from the sky and crushed the spacecraft. They waved their claws and destroyed the surrounding buildings. Death descended very quickly. The rainbow gate that led back to the human world had been opened. The person in charge, who was Han Lu, stood at the door and shouted coldly, Next! A 1,300-year-old god stepped onto the metal levitating platform. A golden coffin was lifted in front of him by a robotic arm. The golden coffin slowly opened, and a human's body was seen lying inside. The young god's eyes turned moist. Am I leaving? Will I never return? He knew that he did not have time to dwell on this, as millions of young gods were still behind him. If he stayed for even half a minute, countless young gods would not get the chance to leave the divine realm. The young man took a step in and his soul merged with his body. A moment later, he was pushed toward the rainbow gate by a huge force. Han Lu's cold voice was heard again. Next. That was the only way out of the human world. The gate was only open during the coming-of-age ceremony every century. However, it was already too late for them to mature in the form of a god. Next. The voice of the person in charge was heard. At that moment, an epic-ranked god destroyer rushed in. Its body was covered in wounds, and an epic-ranked soldier was chasing it. The gigantic beast was running in a frenzy and charging forward. It crushed several young gods. The person in charge frowned but could not leave the operating platform. 
she shouted coldly, next. The epic-ranked God Destroyer rampaged, and a few young gods rushed toward the God Destroyer. In the end, the God Destroyer died with a single slap. Han Lu, who was standing in front of the machine, did not panic. She controlled the robotic arm and pushed the coffin in front of the young gods with extreme precision. None of the young gods standing on the platform was confused. They all waited in line. Life and death depended on fate. Roar. The epic-ranked god destroyer roared and swallowed the badly injured divine soldier behind it. A moment later, its body began growing. The humans who were swallowed by the mythological beast did not get a chance to escape at all. They were swallowed by the divine beast's thinking lock and were instantly dissolved into parts of its body. The young gods on the platform started to panic. Han Lu stopped what she was doing and picked up her sword. Right at that moment, a golden sword of light descended and penetrated the giant beast. A golden pearl descended from the sky. It was Wei Hua. His terrifying murderous aura engulfed the surroundings. All the divine beasts that were attempting to charge toward him started trembling. Yes, although the imposing aura could be detected by the cheat system, it was compatible with the game's false imposing aura. The murderous aura could still be used. Besides, the murderous aura that Wei Hu used was countless times stronger than before. It was comparable to the imposing aura. However, because Wei Hua did not have his own soul gem, his murderous aura could not be considered an imposing aura. Nevertheless, the murderous aura still intimidated the surrounding divine beasts. They did not dare to get close to him. Against Wei Hua's terrifying pressure, all the epic rank divine beasts lowered their heads. Under Wei Hua's protection, the young gods started retreating in an orderly manner. In the end, after all the young gods had left, Han Lu finally showed signs of fatigue. She told Wei Hua, child, it's your turn. Wei Hua was stunned. Then, he saw a golden coffin being pushed toward him by the robotic claws. There was a message on the coffin. Wei Hua, male, 337 years old, healthy. Everything felt like it had happened yesterday. It's your turn. Han Lu said again. Wei Hua turned around and looked at the divine beasts that were destroying everything. He then looked at the mythological divine beasts that were tearing apart the sky outside the divine realm. Wei Hua's line of sight was aligned with the divine beast's golden eyes. A moment later, Wei Hua's body trembled and the divine beasts slowed down. What is a god destroyer? Those creatures lived in the virtual world, where the system could not be regulated. They could even digest sturdy thinking locks. They were definitely not manufactured by the game creator. Han Lu had already put on her battle armor and lifted her sword. She walked toward Wei Hua and said, Child, it's your turn. You're one of the escapees too. Wei Hua nodded. I know. His imposing aura was instantly emitted. His lonely emotions immediately shrouded everyone, including all the mythological beasts. Even the mythological divine beasts in the sky stopped moving and looked at him. Wei Hua ignored the system that was sending out warnings like crazy. Instead, he grabbed a trembling epic-ranked god destroyer with his imposing aura. His intuition told him that the destruction of a divine beast would be very useful. Wei Hua pulled back the imposing aura. The divine beasts of the divine realm shook their heads and started fighting again. Wei Hua shoved the God Destroyer into the divine pet space and arrived in front of the coffin. The coffin's lid slowly opened, and Wei Hua saw himself sleeping in the coffin. His face was young. Time had not left a trace on his body. The golden light protected his body completely. Wei Hua took one last look at the broken world and walked toward the coffin. A moment later, Wei Hua became one with his spirit and body. Suspicion, confusion, uncertainty, and doubt surged in Wei Hua's heart. Then, a violent vibration sent Wei Hua flying toward the rainbow gate. The moment he entered the gate, Wei Hua's eyes shone brightly. He wanted to take one last look at the divine realm. However, right at that moment, the sky above the divine realm suddenly cracked open. The mythological beast gradually descended, and the heavenly wood god was swallowed by it. The other gods were shredded into pieces by the terrifying, 
invisible rule power. Wei Hua was looking at it, and it was looking back at him. Its golden eyes looked at his eyes as if they could see each other's hearts through their eyes. Wei Hua seemed to have understood something. However, at that moment, the gigantic creature the size of a continent landed on the ground of the Divine Realm. Soon, a strong wind swept across the entire Divine Realm. Numerous divine buildings were shredded into pieces. Han Lu, who was holding her saber, was blown away in an instant. She slammed into the barrier of the Divine Realm and vomited blood. Wei Hua was also blown out of the Rainbow Gate by the strong wind. He could only take one last look at the Divine Realm. The last thing he saw was a broken realm and a roaring mythological creature. Wei Hua's surroundings turned into a seven-colored tunnel. Due to the momentum, Wei Hua rushed out of the tunnel and finally returned to the human world. At that moment, the seven-colored gate suddenly collapsed and disappeared. A notification was heard in Wei Hua's ear. Player Wei Hua has been blacklisted after the Divine Realm's destruction. The player will not be allowed to enter the Divine Realm anytime soon. He could not go back. Wei Hua narrowed his eyes. He could not go back anymore. Everybody was teasing him. Everybody was willing to sacrifice him for their growth. They would beat and scold him for making mistakes. He would never get back that kind of life. The moment Wei Hua flew out of the rainbow gate, his ears were filled with the sound of heavy rain. Amid the thunderous sound of a rainstorm, Wei Hua flew dozens of meters away and plummeted from the sky in a parabola. Ten seconds later, Wei Hua crashed into a sea. The cold seawater hit him, and Wei Hua started falling inside. Wei Hua's golden eyes started dimming as he stared at the sky with a straight face. His surroundings turned silent all of a sudden. A gigantic creature swam past him and caused the waves to roll over his body. However, nothing changed. Wei Hua still landed on the bottom of the sea. He could not move, as he was not used to his own body. Although his spirit and body were one, he felt like he had grown taller. His hands, feet, and body were all unfamiliar to him. Gradually, Wei Hua's fingers could finally move. He slowly regained control of his body and floated up. He could finally use his inner qi energy and god of thunder again. These two forces brought him to the surface. The surroundings became extremely noisy as the rain poured down. At that moment, Wei Hua heard a weird ringtone. Little girl, please don't cry. This is a 7 English podcast and you're listening to 5 Frozen Centuries Novel. Chapter 109, Time Recovery The first thought Wei Hua had when he heard the ringtone was, Mother Fudger, am I dreaming? Is this my alarm? However, Wei Hua observed his surroundings carefully. The rain continued pouring, and everything around him seemed real. There were no signs of him waking up either. What the hell is this? Wei Hua could not tell where the sound was coming from due to the heavy rainstorm. He could only start swimming around. However, no matter where he swam, the sound of the ringtone would not increase or decrease. It was the same even when he dived into the sea. Wei Hua immediately understood. Is the ringtone coming from me? Wei Hua searched the surface of the sea and took out the landscape painting. The ringtone became louder. Please don't feel sad. Wei Hua pulled the scroll open and saw a mini loudspeaker. He was speechless. It was a landscape painting with a curved screen. It looked like a scroll, but it turned out to be a screen. Stop, stop, stop. Wei Hua shouted. The ringtone stopped. Soon, a string of words appeared on the screen. I was worried that you were a little too sad, so I played a song to improve your mood. Wei Hua scrunched his brows. I'm not sad. What are you? Another string of words appeared on the screen. Esteemed awakened player, system number two is serving you. However, I have a question for you. Are you an awakened player or an awakened NPC? System number two. Awakened? Wei Hua started thinking. The situation was getting clearer and clearer, but there were still many things that remained shrouded in fog. I should be an awakened player. Quick, tell me what you are. Otherwise, I will destroy you immediately. 
The screen of system number two was calm at first. Hmm. Awaken player, switch automatically to the 4399th service package. However, a moment later, the tone of the words changed. F asterisk CK. You are an awakened player? F asterisk CK. The game will start in three hours. None of the players have appeared yet. Did you cheat? However, the words calmed down very quickly. Wait, your account. Could it be the administrator's account? You're actually the awakened character of the administrator's account. Impressive. I didn't expect my first service partner to be so impressive. I have no regrets in my life. Wei Hu thought about it and asked, are you artificial intelligence? A string of words appeared on the screen. No, I'm not. I'm not a low-level creature. Like system number one, I'm a combination of human spirits and a consciousness formed by countless dead souls. However, this consciousness was transformed into a game system 500 years ago. Not long ago, I was separated by the game creator and made into a backdoor system to serve the awakened. Do you know about the backdoor? Have you heard that poem? My dear, I came from the back door. My dear, I left through the back door. With a wave of my sleeve, I left. Stop. Wei Hua tried to cut it off immediately but could not. This is a screen. How can I interrupt it? Wei Hua frowned. System number two doesn't seem like a proper system. I understand that you're the backdoor system, but I want to know what kind of functions you have. How can you serve me? Wei Hua asked. System number two suddenly became serious. It sang a very serious song as a message appeared on the screen. Please take out the creation jade plate. That is actually my charging device. The creation jade plate can absorb energy from the void. It can absorb energy from the void indefinitely, but it can only be converted into electricity to take out the east yellow bell. That item is actually a positioning system. It can locate me anytime anywhere. That way, I can search the database at any time. As for how I can help you, I'm sorry. I can't increase your combat power. I don't have a combat ability. All I can do is give you information in the game. Wei Huo was shocked. Was system number two the equivalent of an omniscient god? He took out the so-called positioning device and charging equipment, and the three items floated in the air. Wei Hua asked, when will human time recover? A string of words appeared on the screen. In three hours. Wei Hua thought to himself, that will also happen in three hours? That's when the players will arrive. System number two said, in order for you to communicate with me without any obstacles, I suggest you purchase a quantum headset that is difficult to damage. It's best if it's made of vibrational gold. It's not expensive. It costs only 300 million magical stones. Wei Huo was confused. Not expensive? System number two said, aren't you an administrator? Don't you have any magical stones? All right, if you don't have any, buy a normal quantum headset. It's cheap. It only costs 5 million magical stones. Wei Huo was speechless. It turned out that 5 million magical stones was considered cheap. A while later, a new message appeared. You don't even have 5 million magical stones? Forget it, one magical stone can get you 500 normal Bluetooth earpieces. Wei Huo bought 500 Bluetooth earpieces and took out his black helmet. Do you know how to manufacture this helmet? A question mark suddenly appeared on the screen, followed by a funny face waving its hand and shaking its head. A line appeared on the screen. I can't scan anything that the scanner can't scan. I can only tell you that this helmet is not made of a material that exists in our world. That's why it can shield the system from detection. Which awakened abilities masterpiece is this? I personally think it can be popularized. This will really speed up the rise of mankind. Wei Hua put away his black helmet. I thought you were the one who taught Yi Yun Shao. It seems like that's not the case. Yi Yun Shao has already fallen into the vortex. Do you know what's inside the vortex? The screen started scrolling from left to right. 
I only know information about the game. I don't know anything else. Wei Hua fell into deep thought. In other words, you don't know what's going on in the Void Realm? You don't even know what a God Destroyer is? I can't switch on my phone to communicate with you within 480 hours after the time recovery. That's why I have to tell you some important information within this short span of 3 hours so that I'm not rendered unable to restart after 480 hours. Firstly, you have to remember that you must not expose your identity as an awakened player. Otherwise, you will be treated as a bug by system number 1. Because you are an imposing figure, it will not be able to kill you with the thinking lock. However, it will send powerful NPCs to hunt you down. Secondly, you can think of ways to increase the number of awakened players, but don't increase it too much. If there are too many awakened below the level of the imposing aura, they will be of no use. Thirdly, don't stay in the same place for too long. Don't pretend to interact with players. However, you have a hidden helmet. This will be very useful to you. Wei Hua kept reading attentively without interrupting. Just as system number two was about to say something, the screen suddenly changed. You probably can't remember everything that I've said. How about? Wei Hua interrupted it. I remember everything. Not only had Wei Hua's memory improved, but he'd also gradually started to recall some of his sealed memories. His brain was also operating faster. An ellipsis appeared on the screen before words appeared again. As expected of an imposing expert. I'll continue. After saying more than 1000 words, the screen suddenly changed. There's not much time left. The game is about to start. I suggest that you build a traveling caravan after the game starts and deceive the players with some magical stones. Magical stones are very important. You also have to upgrade as soon as possible after the game starts. The Divine Realm and Hell will open once in every century. The top 1000 players can enter the game. As far as the Divine Realm is concerned. It seems like you can't go there anymore. However, you have to go to Hell. Both the Divine Realm and Hell were built in the Void Realm. The Void Realm is the best place to build the Awakened Headquarters. Most importantly. Before it could finish its sentence, Wei Huo heard an explosion in the sky. Soon, the rain stopped and the sky brightened up. The glow of dawn appeared in the east. System number two turned off automatically without hesitation. Wei Huo caught the three rare pieces of equipment just as a voice spoke in his mind. Time Recovery This is a 7 English podcast and you're listening to 5 Frozen Centuries Novel. Chapter 110, The Game Starts There are still 60 seconds left until, the rise of the human race, begins. The countdown begins now. 59, 58 The dark clouds disappeared and the sky turned white. The sea suddenly became calm. For a moment, the sea was as silent as if the world had gone quiet. Only the voice of the countdown was heard. At that moment, a black dragon flew past the surface of the sea. Its gigantic wings produced a gust of wind. The strong wind howled as it surrounded the quiet world, causing waves to form on the originally calm sea surface. A young man with black hair and black eyes sat on the black dragon's back. The two words, Wei Huo, were written in white on his head. That was his name and game ID. The initials, LV1, were behind the ID. That was his game rank. Other games use EXP to level up. You only get EXP after leveling up, right? Wei Hua opened the quest menu and realized that he had received a compulsory quest. Collect 10 wood units and 5 stone units. Level plus 1 once you succeed. Wei Hua then looked at his own level. He did not have any EXP but he could obtain 500 EXP after upgrading to level 2. That EXP could be used to upgrade his skills. The 500 EXP could also upgrade 5 level 0 skills to level 1 skills. In that case, a player's skill upgrade would be faster. Wei Hua looked at the sky. What a boring countdown. After saying that, he took out a pitch black helmet and put it on. It would be better to say that it was more like a black jar rather than a helmet. That was because the helmet had no other opening apart from the lower mouth opening. 
Once one wore it, their whole head was sealed. It was Wei Hua's first time wearing this thing on his body. He could not help but say, as a helmet, you leave two holes for the user to observe the situation outside. Wearing the helmet meant going blind. Fortunately, Wei Hua, who was in the imposing aura, could switch to the first person and third person perspective. It did not matter if the helmet had two holes. The creator of the helmet had even kindly drawn two holes and a pair of realistic eyes on the front part of the helmet. The pair of eyes was very vivid, and no matter from which direction one looked at the helmet, one would feel that those eyes were staring at them. Yi Yunxiao was mischievous. He was the creator of the helmet. He was an NPC who had discovered that this world was a game. He had made the helmet, and he could shield himself from detection by wearing it. Not long after Wei Hua put on his helmet, sounds were heard from the sky again. Players could also see a red virtual loudspeaker appear in the sky. It was a world loudspeaker worth 500 magical stones. One could shout at the whole world by using it. The selection of 1% of all humans has been completed. First, a compulsory quest will be issued to all players. If the number of humans in the world is less than 200 million, all players will be unable to be resurrected and will be punished with the ultimate punishment. Check the current number of humans through the quest menu. Wei Huo was shocked. He had already received a quest. Lifelong quest, the number of humans is currently 74.2 billion. If the number is less than 200 million, the players will no longer be resurrected and will be punished to the extreme. Wei Hua narrowed his eyes. Time halted and players descended. Wei Hua had been waiting for this moment for 500 years. He removed his pitch black helmet and a notification popped up in the game system. The difficulty level of the game is normal. When the average level of players in the world reaches level 30, the difficulty level of the game will increase to difficult. Wei Hua was a little surprised. Was it possible to increase the difficulty level? Plus, it was currently only at a normal level? The landscape of the northern continent had undergone an earth-shattering change. Wei Hua could not see where he was on the map. After a long time, the northern continent on the map had moved. It seemed like it had been modified by the gods, and Wei Hua did not know the way back. Fortunately, a new menu had been added to the menu. Wei Hua's parents were both healthy according to the menu. Wei Hua let out a sigh of relief. At that moment, he was riding his black dragon toward the northern continent. The northern continent had only been known as Wei Hua's home before. This continent was now known as the Dragon Soaring Continent, which meant that it had a soaring dragon as its symbol. It was obvious that it had been transformed into this continent from the Asian continent. The game creator is biased toward our country. The black dragon flew past and Wei Hua gradually saw a coastline. It was the dragon soaring. Forget it, let's call it the northern continent. The black dragon disappeared on the coast while Wei Hua held a new card in his hand. He felt helpless as he stared at the card. There were too many game elements in this game. At first, I thought it was a survival game. However, when I worked hard to survive, the blueprint appeared. Just as I thought it was a construction game and started creating buildings, caves and ruins appeared. Just as I was about to kill monsters to level up, the Divine Realm card appeared again. So, in conclusion, this was actually a money-making game, right? The creator of the game knew very well what he should do. What should he do? Be creative? Have a goal? Be motivated? No, he would not be fooled by these imaginary things. As an excellent game creator, he knew very well that he wanted to create a money-making game. Like a famous person had once said, the game world is fair. You can use money to defeat fate here. Can you do that in reality? The game emitted a strong if you don't have money to play your dash asterisk SS's doomed feeling, as if this was Wei Hua's upgraded quest. That was not a bad thing, as it could mess with the player's magical stones to help them. Wei Hua was planning on collecting materials, when an option popped up. Pay 5 magical stones to complete the quest in an instant. Wei Hua looked up at the sky and said, Game creator, you've worked hard. Wei Hua then clicked, reject. 
As long as he tried to test out what was going on with the quest, his level would automatically jump to level 2 after he collected all the materials. At the same time, he would also gain 500 EXP. The next quest was, please create a bonfire and a simple wooden shed. The quest's rank will increase after the quest is completed. You can complete the quest with 10 magical stones. Wei Hua understood that this was a novice guide quest. The person in the lead was Zhou Yi. He was already at level 10. The top 1000 players had all reached level 10. He could spend money to complete the quest, but since so many people were stuck at level 10, it seemed like level 10 was a challenge. The quest could not be completed easily, nor could it be cleared by paying. Let's not pay attention to these players for now. The time halt is over. How are the humans now? Wei Hua took out five normal ranked cards and cast them away. With a flash of white light, five falcons flew toward the sky in different directions. These falcons had been created by Wei Hua while he had been practicing his card creation skill. They were of no use except for reconnaissance. Right at that moment, a few gigantic winged dragons flew over from the horizon. Please subscribe to A7 English Podcasts and enjoy listening every day with us. Thank you.